warming these babies up. This workout is brought to you by StacksArmy.com and Stack Subs. Some real shit. This pre-workout, the focus, the low caffeine, the mixture with the electrolytes. The pumps are insane. It's got some pump in it. Also, the what's up, baby? Amino acids, baby. You cannot, look at that. See all that foam right there? All that foam is good quality leucine. They don't make a pre-workout or amino acid. ECAA slash EAA. Like stacks, no excuses, no breaks, baby. Stacksarmy.com. Go check out the subs. Show some love. I promise you won't regret it. It's gonna be the best supplement you've ever tasted in your life. It's always about placement, baby. You guys gotta be even. Everything's gotta be even, perpendicular. Arms gotta be moving at the same fucking time. Down, up, both shoulders gotta engage, not just one. You're coming down both shoulders, mix your both. Look at that, both front delts. Oh, good stretch. Ha, 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 Ooh. 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 Look at that stretch. Ooh. Mind the muscle connection. Look at those elbows going down, same time. I'm gonna stop talking now. Up, 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 up. Form is everything. Oh, 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 oh. This is only the first fucking set. This flex. I remember those guys. I love those guys. Still out here flexing, baby. Just flexing a lot more now. Hard <laughs> 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 oh, motherfucking work, baby. They don't make it like this no more. Fucking love this shit, baby. Ugh. You gotta love this shit. You can't just come in and do the fucking motions. You gotta love this shit. You wanna look like this? You gotta love this shit. You don't just come clock in and clock out. You stay late. You know what I'm saying? This is your motherfucking money. Nobody can take that shit from you. Come and try and take this shit. I'm gonna make you look bad. Whoa. Ah! Ah! Bah! Ah! Well, just keep the blood in the muscle. That's all that matters. It's all the front delts, the middle delts, the back delts. Look at that. I didn't even hit back delts yet. This shit's already growing. You gotta feel that fucking pain in the muscle. Ooh. Uh. You really wanna grow. You gotta feel pain, baby. You gotta feel so much fucking pain in the muscle in the blood. Ooh. Keep it in the muscle you're training. In those delts. Ooh. I don't even need no more weights. I got such a point. I'm not flexing really any other muscle. My main focus is all in the shoulders. You see the veins just fucking start popping right there first? Ooh, it takes years, years, baby, to learn that mind and muscle connection. Yeah, brother. Uh, you can tell Macho Man I'm coming for him. Oh, oh, yeah. Look at that. This 
shit ain't free. What? Shout like I right now. That's right though, man. This shit ain't free. You gotta put in that motherfucking work. You gotta work just like everybody else works. I don't give a fuck what you do for a living. I guarantee you, it's not as hard as what I do. And I don't make any excuses. And I don't take no motherfucking breaks. Right there, Rob. No excuses. No motherfucking breaks. This is the lifestyle, baby. Look. Look at this shit. That's fucking pure bread right there, baby. Ah. I got sign all over, but I got to do it for myself. Okay. Right here, here. magic recipe for this shit guys all right but there is a blueprint you know what i'm saying there's something you can follow and that's what i teach on my channel that's what i teach to people who actually want to grow and want to learn you know what i'm saying i don't waste my time with just everybody because you know they could just watch my youtube channel i'm out here trying to help people change their lives so i share my day in the life with you guys to show you man this guy stacks out here he works hard as fuck not only does he work hard, but this guy's also a dad. This guy's got five different companies. You know what I'm saying? I'm working on my sixth one this year, and I'm always growing, and I always want to do more, but that's how you become successful. Like I said, no magic recipe, guys. You know what I'm saying? We're not baking nothing here. What there is, though, is a blueprint that I've been through. I've done it all, and I want to share it with you guys, and that's coming very soon. I've already got a couple people that I've been working with uh, over a long, long period of time that I've helped do a lot, guys. And, you know, I'll have their testimonials and y'all even know these guys. But you'll get to hear a little bit more about what I've done for these people. So that way, you know, if people are interested, they will be serious and they will contact me. No bullshitters, guys. You know what I do all day long. I'm working. I don't want anybody bullshitting, wasting my time, unless you're going to pay for it. Bottom line, I share a lot with you guys for free but there's a little bit more one-on-one -on -one going on. And just like I help these other people change their life, I wanna help more people change their life. So I'm gonna make that available for you guys coming very soon. I think three or four videos ago, we talked a little bit about me doing it. And you know, I got everything going on right now. Everything's in the works. So stay tuned, just buckle up, all right? Cause you ain't ready for this. And if you are, you let me know in the comment section. Cause I'm gonna be going through my comments and I'm gonna be looking to see who's saying they're serious about this. And I'm gonna have all their names, and then I'm gonna let each and every one of those people know first before anybody. So comment below, let me know. But I'm going back to getting this money. Whoa. Basics, how you build these babies. Cable laterals, I repeat. 
You're good, big dog. I had to lock my neck in there so I didn't strain it right there at the end. What's up, Scoop? What's up, brother? Say, brother. Who's How are you? Good, good. I actually been messaging you through uh, Instagram. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up, I, Was it you trying to get me for the shirt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I brought it with you, bro. Oh, no, shit. Orange, right? You're just in it. Thanks, man. Yeah, hell yeah. Um, well, yeah, what's going on, man? You from San Antonio or what? No, I'm actually from upstate New York. Okay, cool. But uh, I've been in San Antonio for 10 years. So. Okay. Yeah. Where do you normally train at? Here. Yeah, just trying to get it in, man. Show today. What'd you hit today? I'm uh, about to do some legs. Oh, okay, you just got here? Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, coming in late then. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, cool. Hey, better happened. late than never, man. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Oh, man. What's your name again? Brandon. Brandon. It's a lot yeah. cheaper down here, huh? Yeah. yeah. And the people, how the people, the difference in people from here to compared to New York? Honestly, it, it just depends. Yeah. You know. You met some rude people in Texas, but. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess everyone's rude everywhere. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I was like two hours from the city. Okay. Um, but it's nice, you know, fall time, real nice. So it's um, more like countryside type. Yeah. As so opposed to city. like, I would say uh, where Bernie is. Okay. It's probably comparable to the city. Really? It's a lot. It's more country. I was from the city my whole life, growing up on the bad side of town, you know, and, and acting bad and shit. And I moved up to Bernie, small town. It is. It's man. not really. I, I used to live there a couple years. Yeah, I mean, now it's actually growing. It's a beautiful city, like, being older now and more mature and realizing all the cool stuff that they were doing in the city and stuff like that. It was pretty cool, man. Yeah. I was just always raised in LA, so. Yeah, man, Brandon. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right? You throw white over black, usually you see the black come up through it. So in a perfect world, we wanted to lay the white over all the, the black and gold. And then all the white that had little imperfections would be what? Now fresh white. And all the black and gold would what? Pop through. So, But it's two different layers. Exactly. Yeah. But we're wanting this translucent to lay so flat in the black and the gold to come through. Because... You would think translucent, transparent, trans whatever, whatever. Trans is fine at best, I don't. <laughs> yeah, so. Looks like it's just caked up all right here. It's just caked up. Yeah, see, look right here. Yeah, listen, but it didn't, it's supposed to be self level. Yeah. So it's supposed to self level. We have to sand that down. I'm like, bro, it doesn't make sense why we can't sand that off. And then they're like, no, Stacks, epoxy of men's with the other epoxy in the mix. You can't get it off. And I'm like, dude. I'm like, God, please, when we get there, make it peel off. You know, I'm like talking to you. I'm like, God, please, <laughs> just spend 20 racks on this. Like, like it's not going to hold. It doesn't look to me like it's stuck. To them, they're saying it's stuck, whatever. He's still putting money up. It ain't like, this dude's my boy. Mm -hmm. Daniel, he's my boy. He does amazing work. I shit, me and him are boys now, dog. And we became friends. And we're like, we're going to get this shit together. We're going to... He said, I ain't gonna leave you stacks. I'm not gonna leave. And that's a reassurance that I fucking like yeah, yeah. take to the heart. I'm like, damn, you. And I tell him, his brother, I tell his dad, I said, man, you guys are some solid motherfuckers, dog. No mistakes. Make everything black now, and it's gonna cost us probably like, we don't even wanna say how much it's gonna cost, yeah. but it's gonna cost more money. We do have a good base now, so we don't have to worry about wood. But we're gonna sand the fuck out of the whole floor. But I'm still like, man, I don't want to lose my design, the white. I want white, white. 
with some gold and black. Not all black and gold and white. Yeah. Bro, we go to my house, he finally gets there. I go to my restroom in my guest bathroom, I use the restroom and I look down and I, I asked his brother, I said, hey, can y'all hand sand with a hand sander all around the walls because the big sander gets the big area. Yeah, but they- But you need to get the edges. So they, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that spot and I'm like, it's black and gold shining through in this one little area about this big. And I fucking flush my toilet and I get down on my hands and knees and I fucking, I don't have no nails right now. I just cut them the other day, but I'm fucking with it. It's kind of flaking up and a little bit more black and gold. I'm like, bro, bro, bro. And Daniel walks in and, hey, come here. Look at this. I tell him, come here, look at this, look at this. I'm like, bro, this shit's coming up. This shit is not, we ain't done. Oh, I didn't hold. I said it was my idea. Look how it looks now. Oh, now it's shiny. It's back. Damn, that's chill. Dude, it was so... <laughs> so it saved you more money. <laughs> well, it saved us. Now we're like, oh. Whoa, we're like, like, even look. Me and him are both all like hugging and shit. Ah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Because, I mean, we were both going to drop racks and we get our floor back. He loves that floor. He's never done anything like that in his life. I've never done anything like that. We were both so sick, like, what? And this is, you know, some awesome advice that everybody can take in right now. If someone rips you off for X amount of money, lose those motherfuckers mm -hmm. for that X amount of money because I've lost people for a hundred dollars. I lost people for five thousand dollars. I've lost people for ten thousand dollars. I just lost somebody where I was making over a quarter million dollars a year because you write them off right then and there. That way, later on in life, when you're making millions of dollars and you're doing bigger things, you don't have those snake ass people around you. Shit, homie, you ripped me off for five grand? That's cheap for me to find out what a piece of shit you are. Now, that five grand I made right back and your piece of shit ass isn't even in my circle no more. And that's the best oh, that's thing about right it. There. That's God telling you, do not fuck with these people. I've had cats who work for me and I always use this this is a good one, man. My boy, John BB. We barely see each other. He works a lot. Got five kids, maybe six now. Awesome guy. We was locked up together, homie. Everybody is be who you could be in the penitentiary. You know what I'm saying? That they make up their own stories. But this dude was real solid, homie. And he got out. I already had my business about a year going, so he started working for me. He learned everything he could learn. Had all his money saved up after like a month and a half, two months of working, living real low because he wanted to bring his family from Ohio down here. You know what I'm saying? He lived in Indian Creek, dog. You know the creek? Yeah, it's all oh, that, that ain't no fun over yeah, there, homie. Yeah. He would take the work truck home and every night he would unload all the tools into the garage and then he'd go to bed and he'd wake up and load them all up. So one night he went to bed without unloading the tools, the whole truck got jacked. That fool could have just came and returned his damn, the keys to my truck and been like, bro, I'm sorry, I just, I don't got the money, I gotta get my family here. I got, only thing I have is the money to get my family here. And of course, me being the person I am, I was like, yeah, dog, let's just buy what we really, 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 really need right now. And then we'll bring your family down here and then we'll buy all the extra little stuff that we didn't really, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And he, bro, that's exactly what we did. But that's a solid motherfucker right there. That was the money to get his family to come down. He knew he fucked up by not unloading the truck and not putting the tools in. And I told him, I said, I know you ain't from here, homie, but Indian Creek, you do not fuck around. You don't leave nothing in your car overnight, ever. And he, I still, to this day, we chop it up here and there. He's always working, grinding. And you know, I don't feel bad, like, because I already know they're out there getting that money, they're doing what they gotta do for their families. It's not always about meeting up and hanging out and bullshitting, not getting nothing done. Because honestly, I don't really, I ain't got time for that, you know what I'm saying? Everyone, my boy Stretch, uh, my guys who I see in the mornings and stuff who work with my helpers, you know what I'm saying? You're my barber, but you're my boy and we see each yeah. other once a week. And we barely ever would see each other in the middle of the week. But why? You got so much shit going on with two barber shops, family, kids, sports, all your shit. It's not like, hey Stacks, you wanna come hang out and we'll just do nothing? The hell no, we always got something going on. Like last night, I finally was gonna make it to the gym at 8.30 at night. And I'm like, Ricky's probably at home chilling. And what I do, Rick, what you doing, dog? I'm right by your house, about to pull up the crossroads. Uh, okay, coming to do back. 
He gets up, we go hit back to like 10, 15, 10, 20, mm-hmm. dog. Yeah. And we leave, you know what I mean? And we go home, she fucking cleaned up, go to bed by midnight. Ricky went to bed by midnight, I went to bed at 1.30. I woke back up this morning at seven, fucking got on the road, draw me, but bro, it's like, yeah, I ain't got time to go sit down and have breakfast with you, bud. We'll do that when we're millionaires. Oh, your boy Tim, what's up with that? You came back? Um, uh, no, bro, he came to my house. He was so excited, he, I mean, we chopped it up, he came to work, everything was great. He's like, I ain't going back to Ohio, bro, no way. Bro, he texts me, I gotta, or he tells me, hey man, I gotta go help my mom around 1.30. No, no, she's oh. here, she drove oh. down here with him oh, okay. in a car. I met her, she's a sweet lady, awesome lady. Uh, his, his girlfriend's cool, his kid's awesome. He's even an awesome dude. I did, that's, yeah, this, he- that's why this story's about to freak me out, <laughs> freak you out. They go to the hotel, they crash out. Next day he comes to work. I say, hey bro, you just got here, so I don't really have a lot for you, but I'm gonna pay you anyway. This is what I tell him. Mm-hmm. Just to like, help me out here and there, pick this up, we're gonna go over to this thing, load up some materials. We're gonna run around town, we're gonna do some stuff. You know, because I know he's less fortunate right now. He's just coming to town, he needs to start a life for his family, yeah, right? Yeah, gotta start somewhere. That's what I'm thinking, right? But no, so I was like, I got you anyway. Later on, I know you got me. So we're gonna do a security system, run electrical, do that. We're gonna do some other stuff uh, uh, in the backyard, electrical, new lights I wanna put in and stuff in the house. We're talking a few grand worth of work already. Finally, I messaged him at like 1.30, like, hey bud, like, you know, are you, are you taking your mom? And he's like, yeah, yeah, we're going right now, cool. Two o'clock rolls around, 30 minutes after. I said, hey bud, I'm going to my old house, meet me there where Ricky was. 15, 20 minutes goes by, after I told him that, I get a message. Hey man, it's not gonna work out. My yeah. family thinks it's not a good fit for us here. And I mean, it was like- the You just re- drove down from me. Twice. Twice. To me, it's insane. He was like so hyped, so ready to be here, so ready to work. He was, we're talking money, we're talking boom, making money. I'm telling him, bro, look, if you fuck with me and you really work, but I mean, I don't know, dog. And not to be fun. rude, dog, yeah, but yeah. I mean, I mean- I guess it's, it's, like, it's like, not just that, like bipolarness, like, like uh, the other day, somebody started at the other side of practice, dude, uh, I forgot his fucking name already. First day. So I'm telling him, don't get discouraged, dude. Like, you know, just tough it out. Like, it was a Tuesday, I believe. I'm like, okay, he needs a key. So I hit him up and I'm like, hey, dude, I'm going to make you a key. I'll swing by tomorrow morning. If you didn't make one already. And he's like, oh, I just talked to my parents, man. I, I'm going to go ahead and just finish off my... my That's uh, what he says, his parents. Yeah, he's like, I just talked to him. How old is he's this guy? Young, yeah, he's young. How old is he? Uh, shit, I want to say like 19, 20. No, this guy's 36. Yeah, uh, my family didn't feel like it's a good fit. Like, what? You're the man of the house. You're supposed to set the tone for your family. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You're the one that guides your family. I got so much support behind me on me, no one can stop me. And that's another question you ask me. How do you just have so much? How do you just know? How do you just know? I'm like, bro, because I know I ain't going to quit. I'm not going to quit. I'm not going to fail. I also always give all the glory to God, bro. I say, you know how I know, bro? Because God's never gonna let me fail like that, dog. Because why? I do everything in the name of God, bro. I wanted that guy to stay. I wanted me and that guy to make fucking millions of dollars together. Oh, Fernando. Fernando. Badly made tattoos. Yeah, I remember I met him before. Yeah. yeah, I met you over there one time. Dude's fucking awesome, bro. That's family right there. We about to get hit up. Oh. What's up, guys? How are you? Black and yeah. yellow. You? Yeah. I think I'm going to get rid of it. Younger. Yeah, because this is making me look like grandpa. Not even like, that. I, like a Mexican a, Santa Claus. Me and you have like faces like this. Yeah, okay. So when we put a beard with them, it just makes it go like we this. Literally, we have a watermelon fucking this fucking wide. <laughs> remember how big my beard was? Hell yeah. I had pictures I didn't even want to post because my shit was like, you remember when my beard was like, bro, I switched everything. All right. Okay. Son of God. Okay. Because in the curve. Okay. I mean, but I got some like, cause I know you're a letter B, you know what I'm saying? But on the sides in here, we're gonna mix it up. But I'm thinking like, what am I gonna put with the back of my head? That's gonna go with Michael, that's gonna go with the wings, how I changed it. Like, I'm not gonna put 
I was looking up some Chicano gangster headpieces and stuff like that. I said, you some pretty hard ones, right? Yeah, I was like, you're like, is you whatever? Right? 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 And the bullets and the <laughs> and braids come? No, I didn't have that one. <laughs> and then somehow, and all this Chicano stuff popped up, boom, I saved it. You know, obviously we only have this much space to work with. I mean, that, that looked hard. If I, if I didn't like, because you see it says King, and then the back says of, yeah. and then the right says kings. Like, what does that say? Letters this big. Right there. Yeah. But I feel like, son of God, being the way it is, we could, and obviously I don't have no paper and pen, right? But son of God, piece of my head here, right? You could do like S, O, like some type of N, and then of would be in the middle, then God would be, so it would actually fit big S. You know how they're doing it. And I want you to freestyle. I don't want to. Yeah, I know you. Am I shaved enough? You want to put a hot towel? What do you want to do? Let me get some. Uh, What's up, bro? Joey Stacks. What's your name, homie? Polo, like Marco Polo, Polo Show. Oh, yeah. Well, I was gonna like Porter. Stacks are like Eddie. <laughs> so this intensifies the pain, but it also makes your muscles grow at the same time. So it's like a pros and cons. Do I want more muscle? Not really. But do I want the pain? Yes. So we're gonna. Yeah. Now, son of God is gonna look hard. We could even take it off on the side a little. We're gonna. Because oh, I it's gonna be. We might be capable of putting a rose, like not over the whole wing, but at least cover some of it to make it kind of like intertwine one underneath the other. Yeah. Rep the next out, bro. One thing you can't forget, people, is God is the one who blesses you with the muscle. You think, you think this guy would be able to wake up normally without God? Oh, no, nah, this guy be sleeping in until 11, showing up at 12. One, two o'clock. Yeah. Hey, oh, I had an appointment. <laughs> be there in a little bit then. <laughs> Make him wait. <laughs>
I'm a little upset about that. Hydrate? And you're going to want to punch me? Like the, like the Cowboys place? I'm going to go get some food to drink. But then afterwards, the likes are going to be like, true to the roof, bro. Good for today. I want to do some more. Yeah. <laughs> it's cold as fuck. I think God needs more more shading. Yeah, you need God, yeah. Nah. And then we have more shading here. No wonder it hurts so bad. Yeah. Get a buzz, but don't get drunk.